Hello everybody, this is Debo of Debo's Movie Reviews here, and today I'll be reviewing Exit Wounds, starring Steve Zagal, featuring DMX, Jill Hennessy, Ava Mendez, Anthony Anderson, Isaiah Washington, Michael Jai White, Bruce McGill, Bill Duke, and Tom Arnold as Henry Wayne. Now I gotta say, one of the, practically in my top three Seagal movies, but up there with Mark for Death and, and Pistol Whipped. Yeah, it's estimated for right now because usually, I actually say make that almost scratch that practically my favorite Seagal action movie. I mean, just great soundtrack, great action. Perfect setting in an old beginning scene where it starts off with lame-ass politician ranting about gun control, then it goes off to attempted assassination with Seagal for forts by where begin the movie politician Starts the speech, then gets attacked on his way leaving by this militia group, and then, despite being told not to stand down, but because the Secret Service were outnumbered, numbered and all, because by this delivery truck, guy get goons disguised as motorcycle detail, and of course, of course that helicopter with a have a nice day written on it. Kind of like, Psh, man, that just was like, what? That was some, that was kind of a little bonkers. And you know, for Seagal to go save the day with the, when he pops in that cool ass hit, El Camino and he goes, excuse me, bang, bang. And saves the day. Only to get demoted and transferred to a precinct because he didn't play ball, didn't follow protocol and all. But then again, this is a golf movie, so especially this one's like Orrin Boyd, which is basically like him being Dirty Harry of the Dirty Harry of Detroit. Though honest, because in this one's more like hit. I say. I'm gonna say, trying to think about it. I just thought about this just right now. Exit wounds is really Seagal ripping off Magnum Force, which that be for another video. But they both had a similar cop premise of honest cop, supposed renegade cop going after crooked cops, whereas. In the Eastwood classic, it was Vigilante Hit Squad going after being being punished for wannabes to to where in this one is just gangsters and cops just running trafficking and all. And you got DMX as a character in the middle who's like a internet millionaire who As, runs an online shopping company and then who also is a video vigilante on the side under the kind of like a kind of deal where and then of course you got Tom Arnold who's like a who's a morning news guy and I and just in an anger manager class because that after the whole deal with the vice president at the beginning of the movie Seagal, Seagal gets ordered to go to, to, to go to therapy and all after getting transferred to the 1-5 by by a guy who fought was his friend but spoiler for those who haven't seen in like 
cliche of action movie cliche of a cop who guy who thought he was a, one guy he could trust betray, betrays right at the end kind of like how with Michael J. White's character being acting all honest and all and yet he was really in on it too in on the conspiracy too yet in one scene in the whole hazing process and the Tyler thing scene and he's all like fighting with old bootleg Dolph Lundgren guy and the looking guy and he interferes and says bad guys are out there not in here and I'm just like yeah, guy thinks he's Andy when he's really Vic Mackey. And then, of course, with Isaiah Washington as this part, partner who reluctantly kind of joins in on it. Because of Boyd being Mr. Renegade and all. And... <laughs> and with... Well, and I gotta give it old Bruce McGill. He he knocked it out of the park with that performance. Of, and I guess along with Bill Duke as the chief in his bit parts. And with Joe Hennessy too. And so do Ava Mendez, even though. She's been on record to talk about how much she hated doing this movie. And I kind of don't blame her given Seagal's personal track record. Record, I mean, I mean, I like the guy as an actor and I love his movies, but if I was in the business, I kind I, I practically wouldn't cast him because of Because because of a questionable wet rep, I'm not real hundred percent which a lot. I'm not gonna delve into because it's more about the movie, not him as a part. This movie about him about his movies, not him as a person. Enough about that. But back to his awesome ass movie, man, just old bonkers, awesomely bonkers move scene where the old. Helicopter and a have a nice day scene after after of course lame ass politician ranting about gun control with Seagal being a dirty hairy Detroit and a lot of epic, funny scenes with Anthony Anderson comic relief character as TK running that running that titty bar called Static and then did a course with courses of course that will seen during the credits when he's on the Tom Arnold show and especially out of the free pairings that Along with Cradle to Grave, Cradle to the Grave, and Romeo Must Die on Andres Barkawiwak. That's how it's pronounced. Trilogy, unofficially of with DMX and Anthony Anderson, and and with a track record of how DMX and Seagal did not get along during production and all. But overall, I gotta give this movie a 5 out of 5. I mean, just flawless acting, great action. Practically, Seagal's peak performance before, you know, a lot of movies got, you know, you could tell were straight to video and low budget and green screen CGI and all that. I mean, between that and machete but overall a definite five out of five
All right, y'all. Hope y'all like, subscribe, and enjoy, and I'll keep dishing them out.